the greatest value I get out of going to conferences is the networking. Um, you get to know people, you find out who has skills in other areas. You never know when you're going to need to speak to someone who's an expert in a particular skill. And when you've met people in person, um, there's a, a bond, there's a connection. And most actuaries are really willing to, you know, lend a hand, to lend an ear, to you can bounce something off someone. If you really want to try something out, you want to speak to the person who knows best about it, if you've networked, either you know someone who's the expert or you know someone who knows the expert and will put you in touch. So I think it's, it's, it's really important. When I was a young actuary, I would go to a lot of Society of Actuaries meetings and meet a lot of actuaries in my field. And that proved to be very useful. Uh, I could then call up these people and discuss certain issues. And some of these people, I'd see them every six months or every year, and we'd, we'd uh, rehash our issues. And very rewarding, and I got a lot of ideas, useful ideas from that sort of networking. Then as you grow older, now we're running a small consulting firm. It's good that I know actuaries in different fields because a, a lot of actuarial problems come my way from our clients and we can't handle all those. And it's very good for me to know, well, I know this particular person can handle this, this problem and help, help, the, the, new, help the, the new actuary make the contact with my existing clients. So it's a win-win situation. So networking is very, very important for many, many reasons. It's especially important to me as a, as a solo consultant um, I need to have people to call when I have questions, when I want to bounce an idea off of somebody. Um, what also is important to me, which I found is a very good marketing tool, is when a client calls me and asks me to do work, if I'm not qualified to do that work, I can give that client three or four other, other names um, and suggest that they call those people. I get more calls from clients that way. So it, it, to my mind, it's, it's necessary for me to do my work and it's also one heck of a good marketing tool. We're not traditionally the most outgoing of individuals and I think networking is an opportunity to work uh, amongst ourselves and the greater society to make them aware of what we can do but also within our own network uh, an opportunity to understand what others are doing. It also, in, it also enhances a weakness that we may have or a perceived weakness that we may have in terms of communication. I think networking is something that we all could use as an opportunity to make ourselves better. You should always build a network and it should be continuous from day one when you first started your career. Stop building that network because it's a tremendous resource. It's also a tremendous source of potential business. I've been often surprised by a meeting or a cocktail discussion I may have had months earlier, in some cases years earlier, that in some fashion comes around to a business opportunity down the road. So I think it's important from both perspectives to generate leads, to be able to expand your areas of influence, and also just as an opportunity to exercise your skills. I think it's really important to network with people outside of your company to get a broader perspective of perhaps different techniques or different issues that other people have faced and I think that we will end up with better answers by, um, by doing that networking. I think that there has been a much greater improvement in the communication skills of actuaries and I would like to see that continue. Uh, so if there's anything that's part of the networking that we need to have uh, to be able to communicate with our peers as well as people outside of our particular profession. Mm -hmm.